Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nick Terrio here and today I want to bring you guys a new video of 10 rules you can follow to better manage your Facebook ad campaigns, make you more money, um, essentially become a better overall effective Facebook ads advertiser. I follow these rules on a day-to-day -day basis and these rules itself have allowed me to make over $2.3 million in business revenue for my clients I work with on a day-to-day -day basis over the last 10 months. So jumping right into this video, here we go. So rule number one is when I'm creating a new campaign specifically to a cold audience. I will always go ahead and set up a CBO campaign optimized for purchases. So CBO, uh, which is campaign budget optimization, I'm gonna select the conversions thing, and then I'll go ahead and offer all my ad sets, I will make sure they are optimized for purchases. Reason behind this is even if you have no data history on you know who purchased from you, Going for purchases is very effective because Facebook actually has a directory of people classified under the purchase conversion. So they list standard people who are on Facebook every day as someone I would likely to purchase. And when you optimize for purchases, you are going to feed your ads out in front of those people. Rule number two is when I'm creating a cold audience campaign, I will always go ahead and fill it up with 10 ad sets at $100 a day. You know, again, CBO, optimized for purchases. And in those 10 ad sets, they're all, gonna, they're all gonna have the same four creatives. And each one of those creatives will go after a different persona. So a uh, persona, essentially someone that's kind of like a demographic that would purchase from you. So essentially a chicken breast at a store, but one persona could be a mom going to the store to buy a chicken breast to cook a nice meal for her family. A second persona will be a bodybuilder going to a store to purchase a chicken breast for the extra protein. They both have different buyer motives and two different types of people. So what you want to do is you want to create about three to four different buyer personas for your product. Some of your products may be harder. Some of your products, you may have to go more of, go after more of the motives and that's okay. But essentially you want to call out three to four different people, of uh, you know, that would likely to purchase your product. And then that's going to get you better results because you'll be directly speaking to your consumer. And I will use the same exact creative essentially the um, the the video or the photo uh, for all 10 of those ad sets for all four of those creatives so uh, same ad pretty much for everything and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll beef up that ad as we go down the line just again different ad copy for each one of those creatives if that makes sense rule number three is once I set a campaign live I will not touch it for three days. Facebook has a 72 hour rule for when you launch a campaign, you let it optimize for 72 hours. Uh, this will give you the best results in the long run. I see too many people launch a campaign one day, the next day cut it off because it wasn't profitable. But if they would just let it run another two days, they would see way better results because it takes about 72 hours before Facebook to fully fine tune your creatives, your audiences uh, to your, you know, to get your results essentially. Rule number four is after your three days, essentially what you want to do is you want to dive into your campaign you had set up and then you want to turn off all the unprofitable ads and unprofitable ad sets. Then what you want to do is you want to focus your attention on the winning audiences, uh, creating more audiences similar to those. And then also to creating more ads similar to the ones that did well. So that way you could find ways to improve them and increase the ROAS and you know purchases, the polling power, all that stuff for those profitable ads. Then if you have no profitable ad sets are all unprofitable. What you want to do is you want to focus your time and attention on the audience. Um, I mean, you want to focus your time and attention on the creative itself. That's the ad copy and the ad, you know, that the creative uh, and try to see what you can do to improve it. 
Rule number five is you never want to make a change to a already running ad set. Too many people I see, I'll give them a few tips and I'll go ahead and try to make that change to an already running ad set. Uh, the problem with this is the way Facebook works is when you target an audience, so like let's say you have an ad set with an audience size of one, 1 million people, that ad set will only optimize to about 100,000 people. It only optimizes to a small pool of that people. And when you go make a significant change to an ad set, so let's say you go ahead and change the you know, budget by extreme, you know, 10 times it. If you're doing ABO, maybe you are going ahead and changing all of the targeting in it. Maybe you are adding in some exclusions to that audience. You know, you're really changing that ad set. Um, what you're doing is essentially is, is going to re-optimize and there's a high chance it won't optimize that same audience you were already, you know, targeting um, or that it, it Facebook has locked down onto. And what it's going to do is it's going to throw off your results. So you could have a profitable ad set make a few changes to it and then the next day it becomes unprofitable and there's no like you wait for a few more days and it still never becomes profitable again that's just due to the audience pool it locked down to rule number six is when you're scaling campaigns whether it's a cbo campaign or an abo campaign where you know, you're scaling the ad set level budgets uh never scale it by more than 20 percent daily uh i i've tested many different ones you know scaling 40 percent every other day uh, scaling by a hundred percent for cbo campaigns only um every other day and uh 20 percent is, is a minute change it's small but uh over time it's going to allow you to have more consistent results because even with a cbo campaign if you scale it up say by a hundred percent every other day um or every day and let's say you get a higher budget you know thousand two three thousand dollars a day when you make that scale uh, you know doubling the budget essentially it's a, such a drastic change it's going to throw off the ad sets the ad sets will go back into learning and re-optimizing and again you'll have a high chance you'll go ahead and um, losing that audience pool you were originally targeting and you might see your campaign just suffer for a few days before it pops back up same thing with ad set level budget optimization uh, you scale too aggressively you risk throwing off your ad sets, you risk getting out of your pool of audience that was profitable, um, and you, you have problems. I see too many people trying to scale too quickly, uh, specifically even the retargeting campaign. So um, take your time with scaling, because if you do it wrong, you will screw up your ad accounts, and you will be regretting it, because then you have to re kind of do a lot of shit, and it's not fun. <laughs> Rule number seven is going back to how much you should be spending per day. Uh, this one's specifically going over your total budget. So let's say you have a total budget of $1,000 a day. You want to spend $700 on cold audience campaigns and $300 a day on retargeting campaigns. So that's a 70-30 split. And I do this with any level of budget. The reason behind it is because you, know, you focus on all that prospecting and stuff. And then out of those percentage of people that take out, actually take actions on your website, uh, 30% spend on retargeting. Some people I'll see, they'll spend, you know, $100 a day on cold audience and $100 a day on retargeting and their retargeting sucks. And I'm like, look, just decrease the budget on retargeting. They spend less on retargeting. Their ROAS pops back up on the retargeting side and they push a little bit more to their cold audience. And all of a sudden they see some really good results. And that's just because they just needed to uh, reallocate their budget. Rule number eight is going back to ABO campaigns. So an ABO camp where you change the budget at the ad set level. So I still recommend ABO campaigns for retargeting. The reason behind it is if you're someone like me who runs a lot of different audiences uh, inside retargeting and likes to kind of do a customer journey with them. So like from one to three days, they get this one specific ad. From three to four days, they get another specific ad. From five to seven days, they get another ad. Uh, what a CBO campaign will do is they'll come there and they'll, they'll just find the best audience and just push one ad to them. And that's not what I want. I want to set up a sequence of ads that go out to their timelines over over time so that way they can build more trust and you know build more awareness of our brand essentially and with a cbo campaign you can't do that an abo campaign you can as it would get a smooth split of budget between all those uh different time periods and it works really well so 
If you're actually curious about my retargeting strategy, uh, you click the link in this, or you can search up this video right here. Uh, I go over all the like retargeting methods I do, and you know time frames and stuff I go after, and it's super super valuable. Rule number nine, going back to retargeting, is actually segmenting your retargeting audiences. Don't be the person that retargets people as a whole, like all of your website visitors, regardless of what action they took on your website, all of your social engagement, you know, everyone that's engaged with your brand plus website visitors, break down your retargeting audiences. It should be split by social engagement. These are people who engage with your Instagram page, engage with your Facebook page, um, then your website visitors. These are people who just visit to your website, but did not purchase or add to cart from you. Then you should have your add to cart audience. These are people who added to cart, but did not purchase. And then there is the purchase audience, which you can do for repeat buyers. Again, each one requires a different approach. What information do they need to get them to the next step in the funnel? Rule number 10 is spend less time in the ads manager. This is one of the first things I've learned when I started investing into higher level education when it came to Facebook ads is actually spend less time. I've noticed a lot of these ad experts, they spend hardly any time in the ads manager. Don't get confused with not doing anything. Just spend a little less time. Pull yourself back from it and focus on other aspects of your business. Inside the ads manager, I'll see people make like five different changes for a single campaign in one day. Then the next day, wake up, look at that campaign, don't see it profitable, and they make five more changes. And then they repeat the following day and just keep doing this on all their campaigns in their ad account. They're spending multiple hours a day figuring out, trying to figure out what's going on. And essentially what they're doing is they're not letting it optimize. They're not getting results because they're not letting it optimize. And they're just staying at a low ROAS and they're just freaking out. <laughs> that's essentially what's happening. And that's why I'm saying pull yourself back. Limit yourself to one change per campaign every 48 hours. So if you have five campaigns on, then you get five changes every 48 hours for one change per campaign, if that makes sense. And this could be simply introducing a new audience. This could be introducing a new creative, uh, some new ad copy, uh, you know, just working with some exclusions and stuff, um, optimizing some ads. This could just, just be different things like that. And this will give you, help you pull back a little bit because now you have a rule of what you can do. Um, also too, it will give Facebook more time to optimize and get results for you. Again, Facebook needs time to optimize. If you don't give it that time, you're not going to get results. Lastly, if you're an e-com business owner doing at least $10,000 per month with your e-com business and you want to hop on a call with me, uh, discuss your ad account, get a free ad account consultation, uh, click the link below. We'll hop on a simple call, go through your ad account, give you a complete audit, figure out what's going on, what's going wrong. Um, again, completely free and you'll be talking to me. You won't be talking to someone else. So um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post Facebook ad videos, marketing videos, kind of like marketing psychology videos. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm Nick Terrio and I'll see you guys later. Peace.